Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tania Acaron from The Body Hotel and we are back doing our well-being series called The Body Concierge. Just giving little tips and strategies about movement for well-being and today I wanted to talk to you about saying no. <laughs> Sometimes people think that saying no to something uh, means you're being offensive. And of course there's ways where we will say no and it might come across as very intrusive or aggressive. But actually, when we think about uh, the vertical plane in movement analysis, it's called also the door plane in love and movement analysis. It's a system of understanding movement that we use in dance and wind psychotherapy for, as part of our training. And if we actually think about saying no, but in a way where we're standing on our own two feet, we're not leaning forward and being offensive, we're not cowering or kind of retreating. We can actually start to communicate what our needs are and trying to then practice uh, how to come across as very clear and really just grounding ourselves in our own existence and our own preference and our own needs at the moment. And connecting to that is very important. And sometimes it could be quite crucial to be able to establish positive relationships with people being carrying something or saying something that's quite difficult but communicating that from a grounded stance from a neutral stance and we think about crisis intervention sometimes it'll tell us in training that we have to kind of put our hands here available if we need to defend or if we need to run away but also in that present moment of actually i'm not causing offense i'm not being a threat so practice that at home, kind of saying, you know, how can we say no and still be quite true to ourselves, but also respectful of other people. And we can do that with our body. I'm really curious to hear what you think about um, the saying no in movement and hopefully we'll be in touch very, very soon.